Hello and welcome to my top 10 Neil Young acoustic guitar song choices to improve your picking hand, broaden your horizons on the guitar, and make you a better player.
Okay, so a few key things to focus on. First off is in this tab example, my ring finger is in the base of the G, and I'm using my ring finger to mute the fifth string, to mute the A string. So that's why you see the little X in the tab. Uh, that makes the G cleaner and less muddier sounding than playing the B note here that we're omitting and instead muting here. Uh, the other thing is you want to focus on the accuracy of your upstrokes in this tab. The upstrokes are what carry the melody, so it's critical. Um, if I just take my time and I slow the tempo down, you're going to see increased accuracy, and then it'll start to come together with some practice. So here's the tab slowed. Alright guys, so in this example we're mixing it up. Instead of playing the bass notes on the downstroke and the melody notes in the upstroke as seen in Needle and the Damage Done, we are playing all consistent downstrokes and the melody is heard in each of the downstrokes you play. Now you notice in the first measure of this example you hear this. You notice you're not hearing my open E1 string ringing open. You don't hear this hearing this. So the melody notes stand out more because I don't have the E1 string ringing open. So how do we do that? You notice in the position of this C major that I have set up here, I'm using my thumb to mute the sixth string. Okay, that's important. And then with the position of my index when I'm fretting the chord, the pad of my index is actually muting the first string, the E string. So you don't hear that ringing out. Instead, you hear the melody note, right? When it goes to the pinky, that's now the melody note, right? That's the and of two in measure one is my pinky note. The position of my pinky, again, the pad of the finger can mute the first string in this case as well. So hopefully that's helpful in getting some nice clear melody notes when you're playing through this tap. we've arrived at the third and final tab example let me say this every acoustic guitar player should try to learn and master palm muting and palm muting is what makes this example probably the hardest out of the three so I'm using the heel of the hand here placed right on the strings not right on top of the saddle but out in front of the saddle there's kind of a sweet spot and you have to move the hand back and forth as you're playing to really find that but this technique, done well, can take basic chords and chord embellishments and make them sound awesome. They're a great way for a singer-songwriter to spruce up what they're doing on stage. And the list goes on. Okay, so I'm going to play this tab slowed down, and then I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks to get this sounding as good as possible. So here's the tab. So you notice the whole time I'm playing it, I'm rocking my hand. That's really important because you've got to drive the hand, the right hand that is, this guy, you've got to drive that hand into the strings at the same time 
you strike the strings with a pick to create the percussive hit. That's that little X that you see in the tab. Very important. And it's nice because it's almost like you got a little drummer, but there's no drummer, right? It gives a kind of a nice body and a fullness to the piece that you're playing.